Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our honored guest, Madam Fatmat Amira, Director General of Department of Higher Education, the Chairman of Islanders Education, the Principal of Billabong High International School, parents, teachers, and last but not least, the students. I am Fatmat Laisha, and I would like to welcome you all to the 2014 Billabong High International School at Recognition Day. A quick message before we start. The restrooms are upstairs on the first floor. Tonight's ceremony is an important opportunity to recognize the achievements of those in our school who excelled in 2013 and to show our appreciation for the hard work and dedication that has led to their success. This evening, we will be acknowledging accomplishments in the Cambridge International Certificate for Teachers and Trainers, the Cambridge Checkpoint exams, and the Cambridge IGCSE exams. We will also be presenting the 2014 recipients of the Billabong High International School Academic Scholarships. In 1896, Anatole France said, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. What I think he meant was that we should have goals and we should believe in our ability to achieve them. We should stand by what we think is right, and that is how we accomplish them. The individuals that you will meet this evening have dreamed and believed, as well as planned and acted towards their goals. Their achievements can inspire others to aim high. We hope that this year's students will strive for success in Checkpoint and IGCSE. I would now like to call to the stage Mr. Dinesh Bakshi, Principal of Billabong High International School, to say a few words about this evening's proceedings. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's nice to see everybody out here. And uh, we really appreciate that uh, you have taken out time from your busy schedule to be here today for this evening. Um, Honorable Director General, Department of Higher Education, Madam Fatmat Amira, respected Chairman, Islanders Education, Mr. Abdul Rashid, distinguished guests, dear parents, and my beloved students. Once again, we are celebrating. We are celebrating hard work, commitment, and success of not only our students, but our teachers too. It is a dream of many, but a dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. So here we all gather to salute that inexorable desire of our students and teachers to achieve excellence. As somebody has rightly said, that in order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear for failure. We want to create a generation of students who are risk takers, communicators, thinkers, carers, and principled. We strive to create an environment where our children explore the unexplored and think the unimaginable. But this is not an easy task. In order to create such an environment, we need to have excellent mentors and an area of activities which incubates these qualities in them. And I'm proud to say that we have been able to achieve our vision to a great extent. Our IGCSE and checkpoint results are a testimony to it. We are a busy school and usually have a lot of activities. In spite of this, we are able to achieve excellent IGCSCN checkpoint results. Every year, our children make their place in the national top 10, and we are continuously improving. Last year, our pass percentage was 80%. This year, it was 90%. And next year, we achieve, we want to make it 100%. And all this, we achieve in two years of O levels. Other schools do it in three years, and we do it in two years only. In Cambridge checkpoint results, also we are better than the rest of the world. Mr. Shaheek will be showing you the results soon, and you will see that in all the three subjects, that is maths, science, and, and, and uh, math, science, and English, we are above the rest of the world. Even the English native speakers are below our average scores. Uh, at the same time, we are there in almost all sports events. Being a small school with limited numbers, we still managed to grab a few medals. 
that is also possible because we have we give equal importance to sports in our daily curriculum for us education is not about academics only it is the conditioning of mind body and soul this is all this is all possible due to the excellent team of teachers we have we are stri we strive to provide more and more opportunities to our teachers to develop their potential and we are perhaps the only school in Maldives which has a proper professional development department. And we are offering Cambridge International Certificate for teachers and trainers for our teachers. Last year, last year three months back, 20 teachers uh, did this course. And out of that, eight had submitted the sum assignments. And two of them got distinction. And everybody managed to pass the course at Flying Colors. So that is one, another achievement of our school. Um, on the other hand, we want to nurture extraordinary talent as well. That is why we give 15 scholarships every year to students. Um, this last year, all the scholarships were dedicated for academics, but this year we have taken out three scholarships for sports also. That clearly states our commitment to the extracurricular activities in the school. We are a school at work. Education is a dynamic field, and in an ever-changing world, we have to evolve with it. We try to come up with new opportunities and activities for our students. This year, we, we have divided our school activities on the basis of department. So every department will be doing an activity which focuses and reinforces the concept. Uh, in the next week, we are, we are having a maths Olympiad, which is a maths department showcase activity. And most of the secondary school will be involved in that. Likewise, for every department, we do a lot of activities in order to create the interest of the students in academics also. I want to congratulate all the achievers who are going to be appreciated tonight. You all have done a wonderful job, and I wish you all the success. Keep up the good work. And with this, I will come to the end of my speech. I would um, now um, pass on the mic to the MC. And she will, um, uh, will, she will call Mr. Shaikh to give the presentation for the IGCSE results and the checkpoint results. And after that, we will have the award ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Bakshi, for your kind and inspiring words. I will now invite Mr. Ibrahim Shahid to present an overview of the SSC, IGCSC, and checkpoint results for 2013. Bismillah rahman rahim Praise be to Allah, the Almighty. Peace be upon Prophet Muhammad and his companions. Dear Chief Guest, my former principal, Madam Amira, Chairman of the education, Alenda's Education, Board Members, School Principal, Dear Teachers, Parents, and Beloved Students, Assalamu Alaikum and good evening to you all. I would not take much time of, uh, before the achievements are being distributed, so I just would try to highlight the school results of 2013. We, we started our IGCSE exams in 2010. The school started uh, first batch of exams in 2010, and last year, the fourth batch did their exam in 2013. We offer Cambridge Checkpoint Curriculum for middle school. Uh, even though we do KKL curriculum, KKL is offering the middle school checkpoint curriculum uh, to us in science, maths, and English. And all our grade six Students from grade six to eight do this curriculum in those subjects, and they will do exam at the end of grade eight. It's a choice. We don't make it a compulsory exam because uh, we think that uh, it might be, it will be very useful for students who are moving around the world because it's a standard exam where they could show around the world. So many students do the exam, and the 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 second, third, and fourth graph was sent to us by the Cambridge. In the first graph is made, first bar is made from our results. Our results, students in Bilabong High got in English language overall 3.7. English, non-English speaking countries, that is uh, 
English is not their mother tongue, and they have achieved 2.3 at an average. And English-speaking countries, 3.2 at an average. Uh, all around, overall, it's 2.6. So our school is at the top end of the schools around the world. There will be schools who are achieving similar results, but at an average, the results of uh, around the world for English-speaking and non-English-speaking are below Willabong High. Mathematics. Mathematics, we got an average score of 5.3. A lot of our students in these subjects got excellent score, that is 6. The highest score is 6, and the lowest is uh, from 0, 0.0, starting from. So the highest score, many students have achieved the highest score in these subjects. So our average is 5.3, whereas uh, the average for the world, non-English speaking countries is 4.7, English speaking countries 5, and overall 4.8. Science, we have got 4.8 as an average, which is similar as English speaking countries, but non-English speaking countries is 4.1. And this trend is maintained throughout the three exams of checkpoint. We did first checkpoint exam in 2011, and then 2012 and 13. We had the same trend uh, in those three years. We were higher than the uh, world average for English and non-English speaking countries. It's a summary of the checkpoint exam. Now I will look at the IGCSC. In, at IGCSC, we do it in two years. And even though our school is very small, we offer more.